Hey everyone, welcome back to Fish X. Today we're going to do a little project for the uh, 125 and uh, it involves getting rid of these little, uh, well, they're not little, uh, clunky BRS jugs. And we're going to replace them with some glass 62 ounce plastic tops there. Um, cylinders that I picked up from Ollie's that I actually used a smaller version of this on the Zeova system. So what we're going to end up doing is we're going to build the um, new containers real quick. We're going to punch the hole in them and get them ready to go. They've already been cleaned. We're going to mark them um, with some sticky tape. And then we are going to pour in the rest of the liquid that's left in those bottles. I mean, those jugs, sorry. And then we're going to go ahead and mix up a new batch with uh, bulk uh, calcium chloride and bulk soda ash. All right, stay tuned. All right, well, let's get started. We have our three cylinders here. I'm just gonna take the cover off. All right. Now, I have a uh, soldering iron gun here that uh, I guess I, I use this to punch holes in my filter socks so they'll hang up in my system, and we'll get into that later. Uh, I got a video planned out to make those here in a few weeks. So, we're just waiting for the heat up. Essentially, what we wanna do is punch a hole in this where this would just fit nice and snug, and then it's going to go down into the container like so. Um, the airline tubing that connects to the doser will be hooked onto here, and then it will sit inside just fine. So let's go ahead and get that done. So we're just going to punch a hole in the middle. It's going to fit quite yet, so make it a little bit bigger. Right. So, that's essentially what it's going to be like. Okay, that's it. So, let's get up for the other two. It's just fine. Okay. All right. Now that we have those done, let's go ahead and mark them up so we know which is which because we don't even be mixing things up. So I just got some. They're like uh, little stickers. Pick them up at uh, the dollar store or something like that. And we're just gonna mark each one. So now that that's done, we'll take the remaining amounts of liquid. So we have a pretty decent jug left of uh, magnesium. We're gonna get as much of it in here as we can. All right. So essentially, this will be looks like some. Cat hair in there, I don't know if I'll fish that out. Or dog hair, one or the other. It's been a, several months since I've had a cat, so. Um, we'll go ahead and put that in there. Let me unplug this thing while it's smoking over there. All right, so that's good to go. And what we'll do is we'll use this this container, what's left of it, to top off both the Zeobit system and the um, 125 as needed. I don't really use that much uh, magnesium, so it's gonna be a while. It's good. So we'll make a new batch of that here in a minute. And then the calcium. Quick 
you know, when you get these containers, if you do decide to go this route, I clean them out with uh, vinegar, and rinse them thoroughly, and then let them sit for, you know, just let them dry, air dry for a couple days, and they're good to go. All right, so that's it for the containers that are ready to go. We're going to make a new batch of calcium and alkalinity. I'm um, sorry, calcium chloride and soda ash, and then we'll fill out the rest of these and then put them on the system. All right. All right, guys, now we're back. Let's get started on making the soda ash, okay? RODI water, I usually fill up the gallon jug about uh, three fourths of the way. Um, I always end up, I know that people like to mix it as they go. I put it in there, shake it up, fill it up the rest of the way, and then I set it in hot water in the sink uh, for a few minutes and just let it dis um, dissolve that way. It's quick, easy, um, kind of lazy man way of doing it, I suppose. So, uh, three fourths gallons full of uh, RODI water, one cup measuring cup, and a funnel. So the directions state that you need two level cups of dry to make one gallon. All right, so let's go ahead and get two level dry cups, shall we? I'm actually going to use a smaller measuring cup to get a little bit more in there since it's a little awkward. And we make a mess as we go. It's all good. And I actually, up until recently, I used to buy the pre-packaged port, um, package containers of the uh, of the two-part. No, that's fine. It's just uh, it costs more to do it that way, and no one wants to spend more money. So this is the cheaper route of doing it. I mean, it's a little bit more up front, but you get more out of it in the long run. So I recommend just go ahead and buy the gallon jug and you can go from there. I use about a gallon, I'd say maybe a gallon a quarter a month, which is ridiculous, and I still have to increase the dosage. You have to do that, because um, my alkalinity is slower. All right, that's it. So, this away, the cap, a quick shake, and then fill it up the rest of the way. And then we'll fill it up the rest of the way and let it sit in the warm water. All right, we'll be right back with the calcium. All right, guys, welcome back. We are going to do the calcium chloride portion of the video. Uh, what you can do is fill your jug up almost all the way. That's what I do. Um, I just leave a little bit of gap just to compensate for what we're putting into the jug, and then I will top it off afterward. Uh, one quick note, make sure you dry or rinse and dry off the funnel and the measuring cups you used previously with the soda ash. I just make sure I get any residue and any, uh, any of that stuff out before we get started on the calcium. All right, so to get started, we need to do we need to add uh, two and one half uh, dry measuring cups of calcium chloride to make one gallon. So we're going to do that now. We're going to do this the same way we did it before. Probably make a mess like we did before as well, but hey, shit happens. Little much. 
because it would make a mess. You should probably just use a bigger funnel. That would probably help, right? So that's two. We got our one half. Jeez, I think it's harder to fill the one half. And we're going to get a smaller. Just perfectly. The amount of water that I had in there. Well, can't get any closer than that. Works out. Oh, I'll throw this in there too. Alright, and then we're going to shake that up. I'm going to put in the warm water with the alkalinity um, just to make sure it's completely dissolved. And then we'll let it sit for like half an hour or so. And then we'll come back and fill up our jugs and then install them on the 125. Alrighty. Hey guys, it's been about 45 minutes. The salt in the jugs is all dissolved and it's clear liquid and it's ready to go. So let's top off these containers real quick and then get them into the 125. So we'll do alkalinity first, soda dash. So I'll probably be filling these up three times a month, maybe, something like that. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, three times a month. But they use up a hell of a lot less room than these jugs do underneath the can underneath the stand there, so. Now I could have went with the, the uh, acrylic ones online, but they're like, what, you get a half a gallon for, you get three half a gallon um, containers that are linked together for like 80 bucks. And I got this glass jar for $2.37, so yeah, I'm trying to save money, you know what I mean? All right, let's move over to the reef and get it in there. All right, guys, we're here at the reef tank. Now we're underneath the stand. The dosing pump is now off, just to make sure we're not pulling any liquid out of the tube while we're... Uh, messing with the containers. So let's go ahead and put in our first one, which we have calcium here. And then we just find the calcium container. All right. Get that out of the way. Alkalinity. And then the magnesium, I'm currently not dosing magnesium at this point, but I will be here shortly. I kind of let the levels get a little high, so I'm letting them come down. And uh, once that evens out, we'll go back to dosing magnesium. But that's it. That's a lot cleaner look than having those jugs in there. And it's only like nine bucks, so can't beat that. Anyways, guys, we'll go ahead and turn on the dosing pump real quick. And then we'll be good to go. Alrighty, that's it guys. Appreciate you watching. Like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask. Thanks.